Musky gang, it's your girl Musky Masamula back today with another video for you guys. I hope you guys are good. What it do, what it does, what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Today I'm coming with a video that I feel a lot of people really need. Every now and then people will be asking me what they should buy if they're looking to start doing makeup, applying makeup on their faces and they've never used it before. What should they buy? What should they use? Which product is used for what? So I decided to do a makeup startup kit for beginners. So I will be telling you what to buy, where to buy it, and what it is used for. Okay? Okay. So let's get right to it. The very first thing that I advise anyone who's looking to start applying makeup to buy is a good primer, right? A primer, essentially what it does is it protects your skin from being harmed or damaged by any makeup product. So what you do is you apply a primer before you apply any makeup on your face. Just after washing your face and applying your daily um, cream or whatever, then you apply your primer before you even apply any makeup product on your skin. What it does is it just like locks in your pores and protects them from absorbing any makeup. So what it does is it protects like your skin from like holding in like a lot of makeup which end up ends up getting stuck in your pores then causes you to have pimples, breakouts, wrinkles and so forth. So get yourself a good primer. Then the next thing that you're going to need is a very good eyebrow pencil. And if you're a beginner, I'd really suggest that you use a brown eyebrow pencil. And this is because black is very bold, right? It's very dark. So I wouldn't suggest someone who's doing makeup for the first time to use black because it's easy to like end up using too much. And the last thing you want is your eyebrows to look very, very dark, you see, and very very bold it's like mm, disturbing so i suggest that you use brown because brown is lighter and it looks a bit more natural oh, well so if you want nice smashed natural looking eyebrows definitely go for brown not black then as you get the hang of things as you get used to makeup then maybe if you feel you need something darker you can then go into black i'd also advise you to get these brushes these brushes girl what they're going to do is they're going to save your life okay if you want to fleek your eyebrows you cannot do it without these. the next thing i'd advise you guys to get is a good concealer and i'd really really advise you to get the la girl pro conceal because number one it is very affordable and number two it is easily accessible you can literally get it in any drugstore like you can get it at clicks you can get it at discount if you're in south africa like literally any makeup store chances are they have the la girl pro conceal so get your hands on that and you thank me for the rest of your life I promise you but I'd really like advice that you get like two shades in the LA bro con LA girl pro conceal get the like two shades lighter than your skin tone which you will use to conceal your eyebrows and to like highlight underneath your 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 eyes your chin just above your cupid's bow area and your forehead and if you wanna snatch your nose you can also use it there but i'd also advise that you also get one that is like two shades darker than your skin that one you can use it to contour right but if you just want to highlight you're not into the contouring business then you can just get yourself the one that is like a shade or two lighter than your actual skin tone next most important thing that i think you should get is a good foundation obviously like what is makeup without foundation i mean foundation is like the ancestor of makeup you know what i'm saying so obviously you need a good foundation and the foundation that i love using which is like very 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 good is the maybelline fit me foundation like chances are everyone who does makeup chances are they've once in their life used 
the Fit Me Maybelline Foundation. Why? Because it's that good. Number one, it's very, very, very affordable. You can literally find it anywhere, in any drugstore makeup, in any drugstore makeup store, you can find it. And one thing that I love about this foundation is that it has a huge range of shades. Chances are you will find your exact skin tone shade in this foundation. Like it has almost every shade, if not every shade, right? Like there's nothing as boring as wanting to buy a foundation, but you're not finding your shade. Like that is so boring. I've heard a lot of people saying that they wanted to buy a particular foundation, but they couldn't find their shade. Then they had to end up buying like two like of the same foundation in different shades so that they could mix it to find their shade like that is so boring it's it's really frustrating but with this with this particular brand i guarantee that you'll probably find your shade and at a very very affordable price at a very very near store isn't that good i mean isn't that what life should be about right this foundation um is very very hydrating and at the same time it's matte so you know it just gives you that balance that you need if you were going for a matte look but you still don't want your skin to feel dry you still want it to feel really really hydrated then i suggest you use this foundation and this foundation is not oily i'm gonna repeat that it is not in any way oily it's just the right amount of hydration and the right amount of net it's just a great balance between the two then you will need a very good setting powder the powder that i use is the black opal deluxe finishing powder this is because it is it has like a cocoa kind of brown look it doesn't look yellow and it doesn't look white and it doesn't like leave my skin looking ashy and i chose it specifically because of the color and because i am a dark skinned girl so it helps me to to bake without looking ashy you get it but if you are a lighter skinned person i'd suggest that maybe you look into using the sasha buttercup setting powder because it's more yellow blah, blah. And if you're into that kind of thing, then yeah, by all means use that. But for darker skinned girls like myself, I'd really suggest that you use the Black Opal Deluxe um, Finishing Powder. It's really good. I enjoy using it. And if you want to see how it looks, you can watch my previous videos to see because I always use it when I set um, my concealers all the time. So another most important thing that i think you guys should have in your makeup collection is a beauty blender or a beauty sponge this will also save your life because it will save you from having to buy a lot of brushes unnecessarily so get yourself on a beauty blender you can find it anywhere it clicks if you're in joburg small street in the cbd you can get it in different colors different shapes and different sizes so get your hands on this bad boy and you thank me for the rest of your life the next thing that i suggest that you get is a very very good finishing powder and the finishing powder that i love that i use sometimes um is a little bit on the pricier side but it's really really good and it is the black opal invisible oil neutral powder right this like this powder is amazing it makes your skin just look flawless right it just puts in everything together and it gives you a really 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 flawless look um you can get it at clicks you can get it at i think edgar's they have it you can also get it at this cam yeah i really love this and it also has a range of colors in addition to all this we cannot leave out the lips if you want something that will 
help your lips to come alive, to look glossy, to look hydrated, I'd suggest that you go for the lip therapy. You can find it at any discount. It is very, very affordable, right? And it lasts longer. And I've had it like for what? four months as well and it's still here and i use it like almost every day so it really really lasts and it's very affordable i'd suggest that you get it unless if you want to go for something matte come on or unless if you are a lipstick person but i'm just assuming that you are a beginner you've never used makeup before and you are just starting to get into it and you're wondering what you should buy and what it's used for so i'd suggest if you are that person i'd suggest that you get yourself the lip therapy from discam last but not least you need to get yourself a setting spray right like what a setting spray does is after baking after applying all that powder on your face you kind of look a bit dry and you need something to bring back the moisture into your skin a setting spray does that it 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 makes your skin to look and feel hydrated another thing that it does is it locks in all the makeup on your face it makes your makeup to last longer it reduces oiliness throughout the day so it leaves your makeup and your face looking really snatched like throughout the day so you cannot do without a, a good setting spray and i suggest that you use the la pro setting spray right it's what i use it's what i've been using it works wonders it's amazing and we have come to the end of our video today i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope you are going to follow the advice that i gave you today and i hope it's going to be helpful i hope also that you learned a thing or two about makeup if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment subscribe and share this video with your friends thank you so much for tuning in mm -hmm.